Namaste, a good morning to one and all and a warm welcome to my YouTube channel. First of all, I would like to thank all of you for subscribing my YouTube channel and supporting me so much. I'm damn sure that I'm not going to disappoint you in the further videos as well. Okay. So guess what I'm going to speak today. Today's topic is a very common problem that patients come with. Something related to the teeth and the pain in the teeth. So guess what? It's the tooth decay. Right? So today I'm going to speak about tooth decay. What is tooth decay? Tooth decay is a permanent damage to the hard surfaces of the teeth leading into tiny holes or cavities inside the tooth surface. So what is the most common cause of cavities? So maybe when patients like munch at any time they want, they do not keep the tooth surface area clean. When you have your diet, including more carbohydrates and sugars, there is a bacteria which gets produced on your tooth surface, which is called as the S mutans. Okay. So this S mutans bacteria accumulates on the tooth surface leading into the production of acid. Okay. So this acid leads into the decalcification of the first layer of the tooth which is called as the enamel. Okay. So enamel is a crystalline structure of the tooth surface. So when this bacteria accumulates on the enamel, it leads to the decalcification leading into the hole into the tooth surface. After the cavity reaches the enamel, we have the second layer which is called as the dentine. Okay. So after the dentine, we have the pulp. So when the cavity progresses from the enamel to the dentine and reaching the pulp. So pulp is the vascular tissue of the tooth surface which is a living thing. Okay. So imagine if it reaches the pulp, it's going to definitely cause you pain. Right, and if this further increases, it may also lead to pulpalapsis or a periapical cyst. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the stages of tooth decay. Right, so the first stage is mainly white spots on the tooth surface leading into the demineralization of the enamel. Okay, then we have the second stage, which is called as the enamel involvement, and then we have the third stage which is called as the dentine involvement. The fourth stage is called as the pulpal involvement and the fifth one is called as the abscess formation. Okay, So the first three stages that I was speaking about is basically a reversible thing. Like if the decay is either reaching your enamel or dentine, it can be reversed by just removing the decay and filling a cement there. Okay. So we have various types of cements which are available for restoration like the GIC, glass inoma cement, then we have raisins, we have composite cements and many more available. Right? So if your stage of tooth is into reversible, you can fill a cement and get it treated. Right? It's very simple. And if your stage of development is under the fourth or the fifth stage, involving the pulp then you might need a root canal okay so i'll be talking about the root canal treatment in the further videos right and today i'm gonna also speak about the symptoms that patients get when they have pain right so if as um, the three stages that i talked about included the reversible ones so whenever you have the reversible type of pain it's mainly gonna be sensitivity Okay, so what is sensitivity? Sensitivity, like in Hindi patients come to me and say, Doctor, I have janjanahat. Okay, it's janjanahat is nothing but sensitivity. So whenever you eat something cold, okay, right, or when you eat something sweet, it's going to cause you pain there, right? So this might be a reversible one. Then when I have the further, depth, further stages, that is the fourth and the fifth stage, it might be when you eat something hot, when you drink hot tea, you're going to get pain, right? So these were the symptoms that patients might show when they have pain in their teeth, okay? Now I'm going to talk about the various methods that I use in my clinic to detect if you have caries, okay? So first I'm going to talk about the visual method, 
Okay, so what is the fusion method? A fusion method is just by checking the patient. When I check the patient in the mouth, I see they have a cavity, right? So that's the fusion method. Then we have the radiographic method. So what is a radiographic method? A radiographic method is taking an x-ray. Okay, so if I take an x-ray of the tooth, I can get into the exact diagnosis of what is exactly wrong with the teeth, right? And then we have the third one which says tactile. So what is tactile? Tactile, tactile is basically checking the tooth surface by tapping on it. Okay, so if I tap on the tooth surface and if the patient has pain, okay, so we see the TOP is positive. Okay, so what is TOP? TOP is tender on percussion, right? Tender is basically pain that patients get when I hit the surface of the tooth on the top, right? So when this is positive, that means that the patient has infection which is already passed on from the pulp and involving the periapical tissues leading into infections, right? Okay, so yeah, that's all about tooth decay and a very important thing let me tell you. How can you avoid this caries? People normally ask me that, doctor, how can I prevent cavities? So let me tell you, there are uh, various ways that you can prevent uh, caries from, okay? The first one is diet. You need to have a diet which contains almost very less amount of sugar or carbohydrate in them, right? And then we have the second method, which is a home method. So home method is basically by brushing your teeth regularly and by flossing them. So ideally, you should brush your teeth every time after you have a meal. But it's not possible, right? So what you can do is you can just gargle after you finish having your food to avoid the food particle on the tooth surface, right? And the third one is a professional one, okay? So what is a professional one? I suggest all of y'all to have regular dental checkups by coming to a dentist. And let me tell you, please don't avoid your teeth, okay? Because the immunity of your oral cavity is also a very important thing and it reflects on your overall personality as well, okay? So thank you for watching my entire video and uh, it's going to be really useful to you all. Please like, subscribe and share my YouTube channel as much as you can. And please don't forget to comment below your queries. So, and let me tell you that people are asking me to talk about root canal treatments in Hindi as well. So, please stay in touch as I'm going to speak about the root canal treatment in the further videos. So, for watching that, you have to stay in touch with my channel. Right? Till then, see you all. Please subscribe my channel and keep me in your prayers.